Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we discussed our first cryptography technique, which we call it as additive cipher. In our last class, we already discussed the basic maths required for understanding cryptography and the basic intuition about what cryptography means was provided in our previous classes. Please watch that class and come back here. Our explanation is completely based on the assumption you already have that basic mathematical logic knowledge the link for the playlist is provided in the description below coming to today's class this class is very very easy to understand but the end we are going to provide you some thoughts so those thoughts will help you a lot in understanding the next classes and to how to elaborate the subject it it completely depends on those thoughts now coming to the additive cipher this additive cipher we are we call it as shift cipher or Caesar cipher. The remaining names for additive cipher, you can use any name. So, what's the logic here? Let's try to understand. For characters, we are taking characters A, B, C, D, E, F up to Z. Here in additive cipher, we are going to provide for each character, we are providing a number. For A, we are providing 0, B, 1, C, 2, D, 3, E, 4, F, 5, so on up to Z 26, it's 25, we started from 0, that's why it is 25. So this is how we assign numbers to characters in editive cipher and the logic, the mathematical logic which we are going to use here is addition modulo logic, modulus addition and with which number we are going to do modulus with number 26 why we have taken 26 in modulus because 26 how many alphabets are there 26 alphabets are there if you divide a number with modulo 26 what are the residue values you are going to get means reminder values for modulus operation 0 1 2 3 4 5 up to 25 so that's why we are using addition modulo modulus you are going to get uh, the modulus value which we are going to use is 26 here now coming to the actual technique what we are going to do here p means plain text because this is our first classes we already discussed this symbol p means plain text means the actual message suppose if you want to send the message h e l l o the actual message means the plain text should not be sent over the internet why we already discussed it previously we have to send the cipher text means this plain text has to be converted to cipher text so the logic which we are going to use here to convert this plain text to cipher text is see this is the plain text h e l l o first find the numbers for our plain text h means a b c d e f g h it is 7 so h means 7 e means 4 L means 11, L means 11, 0 means, O means 14. So take these numbers. In our cryptography technique, we are going to use a key value. Here, in our example, we are going the, with key value 15. Is it compulsory to use key value 15? No. You can use any key value. We are going to understand deeper understanding about what's key value, which key values we have to use, all these things uh, later when we discuss this concept. Uh, uh, after a minute, uh, let's try to understand uh, with the logic here. After uh, completing the logic, we will go with the details. Uh, so the key value which we consider here is 15. So now coming to how we are converting our plain text to cipher text is H means uh, 7. 7 plus key value, 7 plus 15 modulus 26, which is 22. 22 means W is the value. So instead of H, we will go with W in ciphertext. So similarly, E means 4. 4 plus key value, 15. 4 plus 15 mod 26 is 19. 19 means T. So we go with T in place of E. Similarly, L means 11. 11 plus 15 means 26. 26 mod 26 is 0, which is A. Similarly, L is A. O is 14. 14 plus 15 mod 26 is 3. 3 means D. So, we go with D. So, H E L L O in place of H E L L O, we are going with W T A A D. 
So our cipher text C is equal to W T A A D. So instead of plain text, we are going to send cipher text W T A A D. So so where this happens, let's try to understand with our previous examples which we already discussed. We already discussed the similar example source mobile and the destination mobile. Mobile means uh, who wants to send that is we call it as a source mobile and the destination means who want to receive it we call it as destination mobile. Suppose before we are going to send the information, what these two mobiles has to do first? First, these two mobiles has to exchange the key value. In our example, what's the key value these two mobiles has to exchange? Key is equal to 15. Is it compulsory to use the key value 15? No, you can use any key value here. You go with 12, you go with 13, you go with 14, you go with 20, you go with 21. But what's the maximum value? You can use the numbers from 0 to you cannot use 0 because adding 0 will not affect 1 to 25. Any key value you can use. Any number is considered as key value. Okay. You can, you can share any key value. So before you go with the message exchanges, first you have to share the key. Now once you share the key, then you can start exchanging the messages. Now source mobile, the source mobile is going to do before if he wants to send the message hello, what he will do? He will do encryption, the process of converting plain text to cipher text. C is equal to, C means cipher text is equal to P plus K, plain text plus K, key value modulus 26. He will convert our plain text to cipher text. This process we call it as encryption and this cipher text is more is passed on the internet. Once it reaches the destination, the destination mobile has to do the decryption. What's the decryption logic here? The decryption means take the cipher text, cipher text minus key value modulus 26, you are going to get the plain text. Here we are adding, here we are going to do minus. In the destination mobile, he is going to get the actual plain text. This is how cryptography techniques works. This is very simple technique, simple technique. Hope you understand that the key points which we are going to discuss now, this is very important. So one of the key point is whenever we are saying that first we have to exchange the key, how they are going to exchange the key? Using the internet, they have to exchange the key. Means the key has to send over the internet. In our last class, we clearly discussed it. Internet is open to all. Hackers will stay there and they are going to Check your information. Suppose if the hackers stay here and if they identify the key, whenever you send the key, if they got the key, they, they will change the information. They will get the actual information. So how, how to send the key safely without knowing to the hackers? This point we are going to understand at the end of the cryptography. There are separate key security algorithms which we are going to discuss at the end of the playlist. And one, two more important points you need to understand. Take these thoughts, two thoughts. These two thoughts are very, very useful to understand. So based on these thoughts, we are going to elaborate the remaining subject. Now what's the thought means? So source mobile converted, encrypted the data and the cipher text is passing in the internet. What happens? If the hacker stole your cipher text, he stole the cipher text, how complex your algorithm is? Is it easy to convert? Is it easy to identify the logic by looking at the cipher text? Is it easy to identify the logic and the hacker can easily convert the cipher text to plain text? Is it possible? How complex your logic is? If it is not complex, he can easily convert it. So based on all these points, these thoughts, our cryptography algorithms are designed. How much time this hacker is going to take to identify the logic from your cipher text? Will he take one day, two days, two minutes, 20 days, two years? 
so based on that based on that uh, you have to design our cryptography systems and the second point is it easy to find the key used in our algorithm by looking at the cipher text or the technique which you are using uh, is hacker is able to identify the key how complex it is to identify the key value so these points you have to think about it before we analyze our cryptography system hope you understand this basic example if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you